Hello everybody, Nathan and I are back. We, uh, it took us so long to record another episode because if you don't remember, we were sucked up into space. And it takes a while to come back from being sucked up into space. We are here in Dunwich, or Dunwich, as someone pointed out, is the correct way to pronounce it. Oh, all right. You know? You uh, you give me a W and I want to pronounce it, right? I just see yeah. it and I'm like, that's what I want. Um, so we're here in Dunwich Village uh, and we're going to start in the Village Commons. So as an action, we can resign. This is suicide. We're better, not, better off hiding out of the night. So I'm just going to hang out over here. And uh, otherwise, we have our five sacrifices up here. Uh, let's everybody pray that Earl Sawyer is the one who gets uh, sacrificed to Yog sothoth That would be pretty sweet. Uh, and then otherwise, we can go. Do you want to go first, or do you want me to go? Um, starting here. You can go first. Sure. All right, well, I got my brother Randall. And then I got to search my deck or and discard pile. Or discard pile, rather, for a weapon asset and play it. So I'm going to play some boxing gloves. Pain its cost, so that'll put me down to zero resources. Shuffle my deck. So that was action one. Action two. I'm going to go to the schoolhouse and try to learn. Let's see what's got up here. You cannot discover clues here except by investigating. Uh, as a lightning bolt, uh, if there are no clues here, draw the encounter card underneath Schoolhouse. So for reference, we have six Doom. You're welcome to Dunwich has been cold. A string of disappearances have left the already aloof townsfolk on edge. Most of them look at you with distrust, and few are willing to help in your investigation. Who knows what will happen if you don't find the location of the missing townsfolk soon. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, and then, the disappearances in the town may be related to the events in Arkham. You suspect that something awful is afoot. You must find where the missing townsfolk are being held in order to unveil this conspiracy. When an investigator enters the hidden chamber, we advance. Um, so that was action two. And then for my final trick, I am just going to draw... or gain a resource. You're good to go. Cool. Hmm. Going to oh, Dr. Ellie. Do that. Uh... Okay, not ideal, but that's okay. You didn't find a relic? Um, I do not think so. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> that is unfortunate. Come on, Dr. Ellie. Uh, guess I'll just bring these back in my hand one at a time, like, <laughs> like a smart person. Uh, Alright, well, that didn't go great. Um, But I'll move here. Hey, would you like to investigate with your ability? I would love to investigate with my ability. You're for all? I'll help you. I'll give you. I'll give you two. You can go to six. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. Oh nope. Cool. That was action two, and you have one action left. We could flip uh, this, or we could yeah. wait. We could or wait. Because right, right, if it's an enemy, a... I I can do it. Yeah, I'll gain a resource. Sure. All right, cards and resources. Okay, Doom goes up to two, and then Nathan, you get to draw the first evil card. Let's see what you got. Sick. Unhallowed County. Country, just kidding. Uh, I cannot position, well, all right. Well, good thing Al uh, Dr. Ellie is essentially just a blank text box ally right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, running remains, test brain three for each point I fail by. I'm going to take the initiative and go six to three. We're good. Okay, I'll go first because I'll flip this card over. Sounds good. Oh, it's the key to the chamber. Convenient. 
How lucky that we just found that right there. All right, so that was action zero. I have two acts remaining. I'm gonna, well, we should stay together. I'll, I'll go into the house in the reeds. Sounds good. Uh, while you're in the house of the reeds, you cannot play events as a lightning bolt. If there are no clues here, draw the, encount uh, draw the encounter card underneath. All right, so no events here. Um, for my last action, I might investigate, assuming there's no penalties. Oh, there are major penalties. Let me see what's in our chaos bag. There is a squid and a cultist, so honestly, it's not worth it. I'm going to use my last action to draw a card. I drew my weakness. Oh, good. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I mean, not incredible, but also not terrible. Yeah, I already had three cards in hand, and I can just clean it out next turn. It's actually, like, perfect timing. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to... Nope. Boop, boop. Play this bad boy. Uh, there's no clue on your location, so you'll have to move first. Oh, right, I was going to move first. And you actually can't play events at this other location either, just for reference. Oh, really? Why not? Uh, that's what the card the card says. Cannot oh, play okay. events well, at this location. Well, I knew that, and I'm smart. Oh, you put that back in my hand. Oh, no, no, I didn't. There's one right here. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing great this morning. Afternoon. I'm still going to move. Would you like to investigate for free? I would love to investigate for free. You're what 4 is to it? 2. That's pretty good. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Nice. Uh, do we need these ones or are they just okay? Uh, we need to get all clues from locations because we need to... That's the only way we can look at what's underneath. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're just, they, they're just not used to activate anything, I mean, this turn. Exactly. It's, Currently, yeah. they, they don't do anything except that. Okay, so one. All right, so you have two actions left. I do. I'm just going to investigate again. Four to two. Ooh. That's a fail? Yep. Um... Uh, no, the minus three is a bit spooky on that squid. Yeah, it is. It's a bit scary. Uh, screw it. Nice. Yeah. Good. Okay, and then I'll test. Oh no, those those is that the end of your turn? At the end of your yeah. turn, baby, you got it. Go for it. Head three. Three all. Four. Oh, I'm at three all. Let's do that just to be nice. safe. Five to three. It's yours. Get that junk out of here, and you get a draw a card. Indeed. All right, end of turn, cards and resources. I'm going to draw a card, then discard a card, because I'm at my hand size. Nathan's a big boy. Oh, I'll get rid of that card. He can defend. He, he'll, he'll be fine. We're on the same space. Nathan, what's your evil card? My evil card? Ancient evil. It is ancient. Great. Sick. Cool, right. cool, 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 cool. And then mine is also ancient evils. Okay, we just Hell lost. Hell yeah. We just lost twelve actions. All right. It's now our turn, That's though. Um, I'm gonna start by flipping this guy. Sounds good. Psycho Pomp's song. Do I get the peril? I don't think I do. Is it's only draw. I don't know if you get the peril from that. Let's look up the surge keyword. That's an easy way to... After drawing and resolving another... You know what? Let's, uh... I'll go to Google, because it looks like I do. It looks like I will have to draw another one. Blood on the altar surge card. Blood on the altar and surge, here we go. Thank you, Google. Yeah, I guess I do, all right. So we'll draw another card. Oh, 
I spawn in any empty location? Fuck you. I want to fight you. I mean, I suppose I still can. <laughs> uh, Whoa, we're going to put him angry. here. I'm going to put him here. So that was lightning bolt. Uh, action number two. Action number one, we're going to move into the church. Uh, after it is revealed, search the encounter deck for a humanoid enemy and spawn it at the village commons. Shuffle the encounter deck. I would love to grab a humanoid enemy. I'm probably going to grab another one of these Servant of the Many Mouths. And he gets spawned at the Village Commons. Hello, Servant of the Many Mouths. You don't have a loof, do you? Nah. All right, action two. We're going to clean him out, make a fight action, and when the action begins, gain two resources. So we're going to attack this guy at six to three. That's pretty fine. He will take two damage as per my ability, so he will die. And after I defeat him, I can discover one clue at any location. I'll grab one of the clues from this location. Hell yeah. Um, and then action throw. Oh, sorry, I will use my... Uh, my boxing gloves. All right, I think it's like this. Cut. That was not the way to do it. I'll get there. Group it. Shuffle it. Cut it. We want six over here. Bop it. Okay. Oh, right. That's how you do that. Spirit. Spirit. Mm. <clears throat> hmm. I suppose I'm going to grab this one-two punch. No, I want one-two punch. Thank you. Cool. Uh, and then for my I'm last... Glad I remember how to do that now. <laughs> uh, my last action... Honestly, I'm going to start... Oh, I can actually just cross the river this way to get to him. So then I'm no just going to gain a resource for my last card. You're good to go, Nathan. That's good. I'm going to move into this location. Hello, would you like to investigate? I would not, actually. Because I would like to draw through two cards. That sounds good. Okay, well... Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, now I'll investigate as an action... Nice. And it's one, right? Yeah, four to one. Yeah. Easy. Skull oh, is minus one minus duplication one. with no encounter card underneath it, so it's minus three. You got it. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, it's just that one's just gonna get harder. There we go. I'm gonna I'll lock that church card. That clue is yours though. Alright. Okay. Uh, uh, I think that's your then, actions. You moved uh, did that. Eureka! Oh, uh, no, so you have to commit that when you do the test. Before, never mind. That's okay, you don't want to use that on a one. You'll There's much harder locations. That's fair. Uh, cards and resources, I have to discard a card. Is it seven or eight? Eight. Cool. For me, it's three. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I'll go to first watch. I'm pretty comfortable with what's happening. Okay, number six. The, the agenda has advanced. Whippoorwills gather along the gamble roofs of Dunwich and begin to shriek in jubilation. The people of Dunwich believe the presence of Whippoorwills foreshadows something, somebody's imminent death. Do they long for your death, or is the victim someone else? If there are three or more potential sacrifices, choose one of them at random and place it underneath the agenda deck without looking at it. Congratulations, someone just died. Six Doom again. Nathan, what's your evil card? My evil card is eager for death the whippoorwills test head to increase this skills test difficulty by one for each damage on you if you fail take two horror okay four to two i like those odds minus three you'll fail uh, yep 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 two, where right? did you take your first two horror from do you remember i didn't uh, I, I don't, I haven't taken. Yeah, you haven't taken. So I you was... should be at five now. You should. I think we. You just yeah, forgot to place okay. your thing. Yeah, you're. You're Probably. fine. Uh, all right. Well, 
uh, does that just hang out or? No, that's gone. You're good. You're okay. good. Cool. Cool. All right. I got sorted and silent. Attached to your location at the end of the round. Each investigator at the attached location will take one horror. When the agenda advances, we discard this. So the church is sorted and silent. Okay. Um, Nathan, why don't you go first and you flip this flip because this I card. can react if it's a yeah, good. enemy. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, gross. So you draw this card. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ally you control two damage from discard kidnapped. Alright, well hopefully Dr. Ellie doesn't get put into a sack. Excuse me, it's been a while. Can I only remember? Can I only commit one card to help? No, an you can commit as many as you want to your test, but you can only commit one card to an investigator or your locations test. Cool. That and where's the other one? Six to four. Good luck. Yes. Thank you. Minus, Minus four. Three. Minus four. Doctor Ellie is kidnapped. That's fun. So I will put her in the pile, and then we will attach this to the agenda. Great, that went great. That went really well. You know, but maybe cool. uh, you'll get two new free cards out of it. <laughs> if she dies. <laughs> maybe. Uh, you have three uh, actions left, though. Yes. I'm going to pay... Dr. Mil uh, Christopher. Nice, Dr. Milan. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to move here. Each of enemy in the burned runes gets plus one evade. And if there are no clues... All right, well, this is good because that's a lot of... I can gr uh, run over and beat up this guy and grab that a clue off of it as well. Hmm. Okay, and I moved in there. It's the beginning of my turn, right? Uh, no, just after you move into a location. Yeah. I'm going to research. Research. Three to four. Three to four. Uh, you're five. You're at. Uh, no, it's with book, and you're at five to uh, three yeah. currently. It's with book. Uh, I'm gonna use this because I'm not really gonna use this card anytime in the Honestly, near future. Honestly, this is the perfect time to use it. Actually. Yeah. So, all right. So you have. Five, five seven six. to three so you succeed but you don't succeed by two so you just discover two clues instead of three well oh no yeah <laughs> two <laughs> clues yeah oh uh, shucks um okay and then and then you have sorry, uh, two a you have one action left you have one action left yeah yeah I'm going to do an investigate again and hope that it's successful with Eureka. Pop that in there to do six. Six to three? Yeah. You're good. Nice. So you get to search the top three cards of your deck. Yes. Now we do cut. Cut, Down but make sure the number on the right is the number of cards you want to search. Right. And then click cut. All right. Not terrible. Okay. Well, I'm going to move in here for my first action. I'm going to use two actions to get rid of drawing the sign, and then I'm going to flip this card over. Strange signs. Test three. If you fail, add one clue from the token pool to your location. Oh, I don't care about this. We've already flipped this card. 
So I am two to two to three. And we uh, drew. Wait. Oh, sure. We're good then. All right. Well, yeah. Okay, those are me. Uh, cards and resources, and I actually get to draw and keep this card now. Oh, you drew three cards. Okay, uh, Doom is going to go up to one, not six. This sucks. Oh, you got both of those, huh? <laughs> How did you draw two weaknesses for your one card for the turn? Oh, it's only one card? Yeah. That's my bad. Uh, then it would not have been either of those, thank God. Sure. Here, for we'll leave them on top, I... though, because they are next. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to play... All right. all right, so we know what's coming, but that's okay. I'm going to play this first watch and look at the top two cards of the deck, and then I will hand them out at least one to each player. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you the Sword of Insilent, and I'll take the Whippoorwill. Seems fair. So that's attached to our location right over here. Okay. One sec, I'm just reading. Sure. And the whippoorwill goes there. Oh, fun. Boop. One, two, punch it. Okay, uh, I'm going to action one, I'm going to engage Mr. Whippoorwill. And uh, action two, we're going to punch Mr. Whippoorwill. I have five minus one, four, we have five to two. Mr. Whippoorwill will die. I'll punch that bird really hard and then search the top six cards. Eat it, bird. Eat it. All right, and then let's search these cards. Grab get over here, I think. And then action number three, we're going to move into Bishop's Brook. There's an investigator at Bishop's Brook. Other investigators cannot enter Bishop's Brook. Uh, I will get out of here next turn for you. I am sorry I did not know that would happen. <laughs> That's fine. Those are my three actions. Um, hmm, well... What should I do? What 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 should, you do? what should I do? Uh, the the one horror for this location sounds scary, but it's really actually not too bad. Yeah. Uh, so There's like you could just, really uh, just the cards yeah. you have coming are pretty bad, but you could like draw one of them and like react to see what you have. You could play a card. You could. That's a good idea. I'll yeah. draw one of them. Because then now with this one, you could spend two actions to discard it. Your last two. Yeah, that's... Okay, yeah. That's right. nowhere near. Enemy right. phase, and then I this guy... Horror. Doesn't have Hunter. All right, we get cards and resources. And we know what yours is. <laughs> ah, call the unknown. Luckily, when you can choose Bishop's Brook to be yours, which is really helpful. Okay, and then Doom ticks up to two, and then Nathan, you get the first evil card. All right. It'd help if I flipped it first. Hunted down. If there are no unengaged criminal enemies in play, hunted down gains surge. There are none, so you'll it'll gain surge. Huzzah. Uh, which means discard and pull another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eager for death. Well, I have no damage on me, so that's nice. Yeah, brain two, three to two. Uh, if I take two horn, I'm gonna just do guts. 
Yeah, yeah, that's good. Five to two. Oh, good God. Minus four. You will <laughs> fail. Yeah, the skull token is pretty brutal here. So you'll take two. Remember, you could put one on Dr. Milan if you wanted. I would love to. Nice. All right, and then it is my card, which is Ancient Evils. That's right. Let's go. Honestly, though, we're making pretty good progress, to be honest. All right, I'm going to go first so you can get in here. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to first summon this man. Move that enemy to your location. Come fight me, servant of the many mouths. I'll attack him for six to two. Six to three, sorry. Ooh, I failed. He deals four damage to me. Ouchie mama. All right, well, this isn't the time to use this, but I really want to actually kill this guy. So, uh because I need to get out of this location. So we're going to attack this guy at 7 to 3. All right, there we go. We got there eventually. I'll discover a clue from this location. And then for my last action, we'll get out of here. I'm also going to search my deck after I defeat him, but you can now take your turn while I'm doing that. Cool. Your turn. She's a location other than your location. That one. When you turn it ends, if you're not... Okay, cool, cool. For reference, I assume he's taking Bishop's Brook, everybody at yes, home. I was not... Gonna... I was zoomed in when that was happening. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then I enter. I investigate three. Three to four. No. Three to three? Yeah. Uh, you have five. No, five to three. Five. Because... Right. Book is... Book is... Re... Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's been... Quite a while, if it seems, apparently. <laughs> well, we okay. were sucked up into space. Minus two. You're good. Um, so you have two actions left. I suggest flipping this, because it's the hidden chamber. Yeah. And then, so that's not even an action. So put the hidden chamber into play. Uh, the door to the hidden chamber is locked. If only we had a key... All right, uh, you'll need to get this. We have a little bit of an awkward thing where Bishop's Brook is our way in. Uh, and we both can't enter there. So you might want to move up to my location so I can go and unlock the hidden yeah, chamber for us. So we, yeah. Uh, and then you still have one okay. action left. What I was thinking. Um, I think I'll draw a card. Cool. Yes, I will, in fact, draw a card. All right, uh, cards and resources to end the turn. Nice, okay. We're Hell up yeah. Four. What's your evil card, Nathan? My evil card is... Servant of Many Mouths. Spawn him at any Spawn empty, empty location. location. You, you like want to punch him up here? Or throw him up here. Throw him up here. Yeah, Not just... on top. Alright, my evil card is... Oh, this Psycho Pump song is gone. A mobster. Oh, uh, how do I get rid of Call of the Unknown? You don't. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Unless you fail, then it deals you two horror and you shuffle and back into And it goes back in my, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's just hope I don't fail in anything. All right, this monster's oh, is here. Um, I am just going to uh, fight him for action number one with Monster Slayer. So we'll attack him at six to two. He will die. Uh, and I'll search the top six cards of my deck. Zoop. Search. Uh, this card's the spirit, right? It is good. Group those together. A little rotate and a shuffle. Uh, action number two, we're going to move in here. Uh, we'll attach the key. So now we can enter this location. Um, I just need to quickly look at something. Dude. Hmm. I think I'm gonna, I'll move in here for my last action. Okay, so we entered the hidden chamber, so we will advance. 
Uh, you find your way into the hidden chamber where you believe the missing folk are being held, but the horrors that confront you there fray the edges of your sanity. Bound by chains in a secluded corner of the room is an unspeakable creature with the face of a man. It weasels and wrestles to free itself as it notices your entrance. The many mouths covering the creature's body are covered in blood and gristles of meat, as though it were feeding recently. Uh, with a hideous croak, the creature speaks with seven mouths. S Seth? Then it lurches forward as though to grab you, and several of its chains snap. Reveal each unrevealed location. Move all clues in play, including those on each investigator, to the hidden chamber. So all of our clues, all eight of them, oh, move you. to this location. Oh my god. I feel like that's not what you meant to duplicate. It was not. Uh, spawn the set aside Seth uh, Silas Bishop enemy at this location. Yeah. He's massive. He's grassive. He's altogether blassive. Uh, he does not make attacks of opportunity, so we can do actions in his location and he won't attack us. However, he will attack us during the enemy phase. Um, so now we have two choices. If Silas, uh, the pitiful beast lunges to grab you with slimy arms, its many jaws snapping in hunger. Killing it would be merciful, but perhaps there is something else to discover about this creature. Uh, objective, we can either defeat him or if there are no clues on his lo on our location, on this, on this location. Which there are eight of. Correct. Sick. Uh, honestly, the only downside is if like the normally the strategy is to hop in and hop out right yeah but the bishop's brook makes it really hard so what i'm thinking nathan mm -hmm. is i might like just try to fight this guy a bit <laughs> yeah but i don't know if i can kill him okay all right all right fair he does have 12 health, which I can do over time. But the thing is, I need to go in and out. But then you're not really doing anything, right? I mean, I'm watching my buddy punch a pile of meat. That's true. That is true. And it gives us two points if we beat him. It also gives us two points if we get the clues off this location, though. But Okay, all right, fair enough. But, I mean, if you want to, I can do the whole move in, punch, and move out thing, right? Yeah, I mean, if you want to give that a the shot, if that starts going The only downside is if other enemies show up, that's kind of a problem. Yeah, that's true. What do you think is best? Well, we either have to get the clues or beat him, so it doesn't really... You know, I have cards. I can try fighting him for a bit and see what happens. And then if things start going south, we just investigate. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Let's just hope things don't go south. If Rand, if, my, can uh, if Tommy Malone or whatever my bad guy, the bad guy's name is in my deck, if he Pops shows up, up that that'll be stuck. a problem. <laughs> but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, I believe you have actions though. I do, I do. Okay, so question about Call of the Unknown. If I can't investigate, do I still think too horror? You can always investigate. Uh, you. You can still investigate even if there aren't clues on a location. Okay. All right. So, like, for Seems example, weird. you could say, uh, you can choose, like, Bishop's Brook, move in, investigate it, then move out, right? Back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll do that. Cool. And you also still get your free investigate each turn as well, so. Yeah. Um, I am, however, going to try to do this uh so this needs to be uh played first for you to do that because it's an it's uh, a no i'm not counting it as my i'm moving in playing that invest oh then i can't leave i mean you can no it, that's fine because i just you just have to go before me next turn then so i can get it oh okay okay so you're playing that yeah and then you're going to investigate here so you're at five to six currently Six, seven. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, 
Yeah, what can you do, right? Yeah. Uh, you track. have one action left, though, so you could try to investigate again for your Call of the Unknown. You could do this one again, but you're still testing five to six. Yeah. Does this just stay out until I successfully do it? Yeah, did you you played it as an action, right? You paid the one for it? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, so it takes up one of your hand slots. So yeah, it stays yeah, out okay. until you... Okay. Uh, you successfully investigated, assuming you didn't do this. Did you do this I or no? No, 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 no. So then, yeah, I had nothing the, to do with it. I wasn't doing is, that. Is sated. <laughs> okay. All right, I am going to... Enemy attacks of opportunity. Before this guy attacks me, I'm going to counterpunch him. So I attack him for five, six, eight to three. Minus one. I will deal three damage to him. Two from this card, one from that. So he is down to nine health remaining. Uh, he'll then like literally start eating my brain, but he's also going to start eating my brother's brain as well. Ooh. Uh, then we get cards and resources. Hmm, interesting. Okay, okay, um, Doom goes up to five. Nathan, what's your evil card? It is... A mobster. A mobster, all right. That's actually okay. Because if you evade him... Kidnapped? No, my brother! All right, I'm going to take the initiative. We have six. We'll go seven to four. Minus two. They do not kidnap my brother. Good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, it's our turn. So, yeah, you could try to evade this guy. That's the plan. Uh, you also have to choose a location at the beginning of your turn. Uh... Is evading going to take a turn, an action? Yes. It does, yes. So give me a second then. This poses a problem. I'm going to put it on Village Commons. Sounds good. Uh, and then I'm going to... 4 to 2. I don't succeed. Okay. Uh, you can try again, though. I will try again. Nice, he's evaded. I succeed. And then, and then I'm going to move here. And you get a free investigate at 5 to 3. Okay. You're good. My two pow did it. All right, action number one, I'm going to play mano a mano. Uh, deal two damage to an enemy engaged with you. This attack does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Uh, I'll get plus one damage from this, so we will hit him for uh, three. So he is down to six health. I definitely think I can beat him. Uh, action two, we're going to move into here. And then I think I'm going to punch the mobster. I have five, six to his two. So I have four to two, so he'll take a damage. This guy will stand up and engage me. And we get cards and resources. All right. Okay. All right. I'm good with that. So another sacrifice gets killed. This gets discarded, and then we got uh, more whippoorwills flock to Dunwich Village as the night progresses. The other townsfolk, notoriously superstitious, are terrified by the birds' presence. With the doors around you shut and locked, you find yourself alone in the streets of Dunwich. If there are two or more potential sacrifices, choose one. Three dead bodies, all in a row. Where will they die? In Dunwich Village. We have seven turns left. Nathan, what's your evil card? Dude, an Albanian thug. Oh, good news, Nathan. These Sorted and Silence are gone, so... Uh, and then my evil card is... On Wings of Darkness, test foot four. If you fail, take one damage, one horror, then disengage from each non engage All right, so we're testing at two to four. Best of luck. 
We fail. So we take a damage and a horror. Actually, you know what? Sorry, bro, you're dead. <laughs> Into the bin with you. Disengage from him. Move up here. Perfect time to fight this mobster. Okay. So, Nathan, what I'm thinking yes. is you, the hope is that you evade this guy, right? Yes, I would agree. I can go first, fight this mobster, and then come hang out in the burned ruins, and then you could, like, make your way over here. To, to the burned ruins? Yeah. See, I was... Because I really want to get this ancient stone thing dealt with finally, I was gonna to go to the congregation. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, but burn you, you can't get you have you can't go from. Oh yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's a red arrow. So I'll try to I'll get this mobster out of the way from you, assuming you're gonna get through this O'Banion thug. Okay. Of course I am. Come on. All right, we're gonna move in here. Action two. We're gonna punch this guy at six to two. He gets fucking clobbered, but more importantly, we get to search the top six cards of our deck. Oh, excuse me. Get me out of here! There we go. Oh, another counter punch. Tommy Malloy. I was very close. I called him Tommy Malone. Alright, I have a plan. Okay. I have a plan. I have one action left, so we're gonna move into the burned ruins. You're good to go, Nathan. What location would you like to make your call of the unknown? Uh, burned ruins, I guess. And let's just do Bishop's Brook just to be safe. I think that's I think that's a good call. Yep. All right. Uh, two, Action one. Right. Yeah, two. Four to two. You're good. Easy. Two. Investigate for free. Nice. Easy. And then action three. Come to hang out with me. Yes. Beautiful. All right, cards and resources. Tommy, are you going to show up and eat a turn? You're basically an ancient evil for me. Nah, that's fine. Okay, uh, we are at one here. Nathan, what's your evil card? It is... Oh, you're, Psychopomps you're doing fine for health. Take one of them. Yeah, I'm fine. And then I got... Unhallowed country. My ally assets are blank. Well, good thing my brother's already dead. He got sucked up by the Night Gaunt when we moved over. Okay, Nathan, I'm going to let you go first because I'm going to try to end it this turn. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so then I'm going to say Congregational Church. Sounds I'm good. I'm move to the Congregational Church. I'm going to do the Ancient Stone. So you can actually also still use your free Investigate for that as well. Because it's yeah, an Investigate was, action and this is an Investigate action. Yeah. So you're at five to four. Uh, five to six to four. Seven to four. I'm not fucking around. Let's go. No, that's good. Oh, the I'm... game fucking hates you. <laughs> Fuck me. I mean, <sighs> you, you still have two actions left. You can keep trying, right? Yeah. And five to four is doable. Oh, sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. One second. Yeah, okay. All right. Nope. One action left. Oh, place one doom on the agenda. Uh, Nathan, do you want one more turn? Or should I end it here? Because your call of the unknown will trigger. Yeah. So you'll no, take two more. End, end it. I mean, I could fail my tests, right? So we'll find out. So one, two, we're going to then do Monster Slayer and attack this guy for uh, three damage. Or we'll attack him at six. We'll go seven to three. Because minus four is, I think, the worst we have. And that's a minus four, so we'll deal three damage to him. So two from this, one from me. 
Um, enemy phase, this guy's going to attack me, but I'm going to play Counter Punch. So I have five, six, eight to his three. He will take three damage back. Event or a fight ability on an event. Yeah. He'll take three damage. He is done. I counterpunched the big man. Oh, thank God. All right. Resolution. Oh, I didn't test that. I should have. All right. We just keep it. Okay. Uh, resolution one. We defeated the guy. As you land the finishing blow, which is a sick punch with some boxing gloves, by the way, the creature's body explodes into hundreds of squirming rope-like appendages wriggling across the ground and climbing up the walls. You're so startled that you aren't fast enough to prevent them from escaping the room. Even so, whatever that creature was, you're glad it's now dead. In your campaign log, we're going to record that the investigators put Silas Bishop out of his misery. Uh, all right, let's see who's sacrificed as well. Who didn't make the cut? Number one of our sacrifices was none other than... Earl Sawyer! He always has to die! <laughs> <laughs> Truly, though, he always dies. Oh, wow. That's the That's rule. The Number two? for him, I guess. Dr. Henry no, Armitage! No, not no. Dr. Armitage! <laughs> and number three was Professor Warren Rice. That's okay, I never got attached to this guy. We didn't save him the first time. He's been sacrificed for a long time. But on the good news is Dr. Ellie is A-OK, -okay, so she can go back oh, into your deck. Okay. All right. So each investigator earns experience value X with, for each card in the victory display, and then we earn two bonus experience. So we, I believe, are going to get four experience here. Four experience. That puts us each up, each up to five. Um, all right, I'm going to mark some stuff up, and then we'll go to the survivors. So we put Silas Bishop out of his mystery, misery. Sorry. And then we lost Earl Sawyer. In brackets. Duh. Prefer Armitage. And uh, Warren Rice. So now we get to go to the Survivor's Interlude. Uh, if Warren Rice is dead, Henry Armitage is dead, if Dr. Francis Morgan is not listed under sacrifice to Yog sothoth Thank you for everything you've done, Dr. Morgan says, taking count of the provisions and ammunition. Last time we needed some of that strange powder, Armitage concocted to even... Uh, to even see the beast of the terrorized dungeon, uh, Dunwich, sorry. If there's more of these things out there, we're gonna need that powder. I think I remember how he made it. In your campaign log, record that Dr. Francis Morgan survived the Dunwich legacy. If Dr. Francis Morgan card is not already in an investigator's deck, any one investigator may add it. And then if the powder uh, Ibn Ghazi is not already in an investigator's deck, any one investigator may choose to add that card to their deck. So the powder of Ibn Ghazi that helps punch things better. Yeah, right? but it, it I might... I think it actually helps you help things better. Oh. I think you're going to want that. Next is the number of characters who survived the Dunwich Legacy can't, in your campaign. How many survived? Uh, two? It's, go it's going to be... Two. Two. Does does uh, my character not count? No, no. Okay, so yeah, two. All right. And then we have uh, uh so we're, you will just leave this to the side because it's it's only used in the next scenario. Okay. Um, and then we have Zebulon Waitley. Uh, Dunwich had its fair share of oddities, Zebulon explains to you with a quavering voice. But I ain't ever seen anything as sick and twisted as this thing. He gives the creature's remain one last sickened glance before closing the door to the chamber behind him, shuddering. He locks eyes with you, his expression grim. Whoever done this gotta pay. I'll do all I can to help. In your campaign log, we record that Zebulon also survived, and one of us may put him in our deck as well. So these are the we two we need, have. 
and Francis Morgan is that one and that one. Cool. All right. So uh, Zebulon's good for both of us because we both have yes. um, we Mediocre both have three. Head. So getting to four is really nice. Um, I'm going to take Dr. Francis Morgan because it just Please makes do. sense for me. Please do. Yeah. Um, you have the charisma, so Zebulon's probably going to be better for you. Okay. All right. Because I'm kind of going all in on, like, the one, uh, just me and my brother game plan. Yeah, you know, two brothers. Exactly. Half as good as four brothers. Campaign log. <laughs> All right, well, the next one is Undimension so and Unseen. Dumb. <laughs> Survived. Francis Morgan slash Zebulon. Well, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Nathan and I are going to record it right now, so there won't be as big of a gap as there was last time. Because, we, I mean, we didn't get sucked into space. That much should be obvious. Yeah, we're just leaving a house. But, Nathan, are town. you ready for an absolute slog of a, camp, of a scenario? Yeah, it's gonna pro- it'll probably take us ninety minutes to two hours. I'd wager. So hot damn. Okay. Maybe not because that's with three people. It'll probably be like close to ninety, maybe an hour twenty. So all right, all buckle right. up. But Nathan, I'll, I'll honestly, also no pressure. A lot of this is gonna fall on your shoulders. No pressure. Yeah, that's uh, what you, I'm pretty sure that's what you said before we got sucked into space. It's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, see you guys in the next episode.